POLICE IMPERSONATOR FACING A DOZEN CHARGES. INVESTIGATORS SAY THIS YOUNG MAN'S OWN PARENTS BLEW THE WHISTLE. AFTER SEARCHING THE 20-YEAR-OLD MAN'S HOME AND CAR, POLICE SAY THEY FOUND WEAPONS, AMMUNITION, EVEN A FAKE HOMELAND SECURITY ID BADGE. WBZ'S BILL SHIELDS IS LIVE WITH A STORY IN Duxbury. BILL? YOU KNOW, PAULA, WHEN Duxbury POLICE GOT WIND OF THIS, THEY GOT A WARRANT. THEY WENT OVER TO THE KID'S HOUSE. AND WHAT THEY FOUND WAS A KEYPAD LOCK on his bedroom door. Once they got behind that door, that's where they found that cache of weapons. 20-year-old Chris Barlow of Duxbury, a college student and part-time EMT. So why was all of this found in his bedroom? He did have on him uh, loaded firearms. His vehicle also had additional firearms and magazines. He also had a double-edged knife. This is Barlow's family home in Duxbury, but police say his bedroom had a key code lock on it. And when they got a warrant to open it up, they found guns, chemicals for explosives, and several fake police IDs, including one for Homeland Security. It's very troubling uh, that a, a young man, um, who, uh, an unlicensed individual, had that, those, that type of uh, weaponry and uh, the type of ammunition available to him, so it was very concerning. Barlow's parents found the stash and took one of his handguns to police. Then, Chris Barlow himself went to the Duxbury police demanding the gun back and showed his phony Homeland Security ID. He was interviewed by two of our detectives. Uh, he wanted his gun back. Uh, and during that investigation, he essentially uh, presented uh, what turned out to be a fraudulent uh, identification card uh, stating that he was a law enforcement officer. You can only imagine residents in this well-manicured neighborhood. They were stunned. Absolutely. They're a great family, and we've never had any problems. So what's going through your mind right now is... That I was totally unaware of that any of this was going on. I'm shocked. My heart goes out to the family. And police have also seized Barlow's computer and his cell phone. They're just now starting to look in the forensics of those instruments. Reporting live from Duxbury, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.